Okay, good morning gang. This is Scuba Chris of Scuba Chris Videos. And first off, this is my little pal, my little Chihuahua peanut butter. So I just thought I'd include him in this video because he's just so cute, <laughs> a peanut. All right, um, a little message for Zeke Planas. Um, this is my buddy that, I, that has been coming down to fishing where I fish. He's a great kid. He's going to be uh, better than me. He probably is better than me right now. But um, I had some old bells with the old configurations, just the U-shape. I found them, so I'm going to be giving them to you this weekend, buddy. Alrighty. Put this on the side. Okay, people have been asking me what kind of rods can I bring on the plane? Because with the TSA restrictions, it's getting a little bit more difficult. All right. So to begin with, I would like to first start off by giving my thanks to Jeff Robles, uh, Jeff Robles Associates. Uh, because of them, this is where I am right now. And with him is Gene Nakata, who is also with his associates, as well as uh, Mustad Hooks. Also like to thank uh, Sam Brennan, the VP of Okuma, and John Bretza, the product developer. All these great people I've had a chance to meet firsthand. I got to fish with most of them. They're a great bunch of people. Thanks, guys. Also to Mr. Titel, who is giving me a Alcove Pro to make this with. It's a, the, one of the newer uh, action cameras, and I think you'll like it too. Okay, now we're going to get back to this. What kind of rods can I bring on a plane? You know, TSA restrictions have been really strict since 911. So let's go through what I think Okuma has that you can bring on a plane that is a good rod, rods that I use. Okay, first off, we have the Nomads. Okay, this is the nine footer. These, strings, these three here are 10 footers of different strengths. Okay, now this nine footer here is um, 30, oh, what's wrong boy, you okay? okay. It's, 30.3 inches long, that's the case, with three and a half inch diameter. These here are the 10 footers, they're 33 and three quarter inches, also with the three and a half inch diameter. Now these are solid tubes, I mean, if I was to sit on it, I'm a big guy. If you can sit on it, it won't break it. As you can see, look at that. The tubes are padded, zippered. I think it's a PVC tube, if I'm not mistaken. And you got your nomads all ready to go. All right. These are great for surf casting. They're very strong rods. And it comes with a handle. Now, these are TSA approved. Now, you got to remember, just because they're TSA approved doesn't mean that you're going to get on the plane at all times. I know that um, when I go to Asia, when I go to the Caribbean, um, there's different airlines have different restrictions because especially for the smaller airlines, they, they're very tight on space and they may have space limitations. So you should check with the airlines directly. Okay. Now, oh, I'm sorry, Peanut. Now, this is... Like I said, these are the Nomads. The Nomads are well-known um, surf rods. I think you're going to like these. Now, with the Nomads, I tend to pair them up with the 6000, Azores Blue 6000. I find it's, it's a good pairing. It, it feels good. Now, with the 9-footer, you could possibly use the, the 4000 series, but I would just stick with the 6000 all the way. Uh, the 6000 can handle um, almost anything. All right, now we're going to get into the Nomad Express. Now this one here is a great looking rod case. It can actually fit into the larger backpacks. It can fit into the larger backpacks. This is 27 
and a half inches long. So you just have to measure 27 and a half. And the width, you know, because it's a squishy bag, it's not that bad. This one here, I already have equipped with a hammer bomb. Okay, this one's a four-piecer. Really lightweight. I'm actually kind of amazed it's lightweight. And on a previous um, video I made, you can see that I, I coated the exposed cork with um, diamond shine. So any kind of sealant will help seal this. And remember, with both these units, it has the spigot ferro connection. So, and you notice when you put it together, right there, this is going to be about a three-quarter inch area where you, it looks like it's going to be thinner. And some people go, oh, oh, and they're going to try to shove it in there as hard as you can. You're going to lock it up when you do that. Do not force it in. It's supposed to be like that. Look at all that there. All that is going into this. See that? Trust me, this is a very good connection. It's a European style connection. Um, I, I think they started with the carpers uh, to make uh, breakdown rods so they can fit. When you can put them in small vehicles, take it on the train. Now, when I put these together, I was shown by a very famous bass fisherman how to do it the correct, the correct way that he says he does it, which I do now. He says, when you put it on, you, you tighten it going to the right, right? And, he, and he's, he said it creates like a track. Tighten it to the right. When you take it off, loosen it to the left. All right? But that's the way I do it. Um, don't have to do it that way, but it, it does work. All right, so you got the specs. You can see the products. Now, with the Nomad Express, you got to remember, this is a casting rod. What I showed you here... The Nomads, they're spinning rods, all right? So you have to put spinners on them. But the Nomad Express are casting rods. So you have to use casting reels or bait casters. Now, what I do is I use the 300 series. This is the Komodo, which I call the Dragon Casters. Komodo Dragon, right? So on the uh, um, lighter unit, the, the medium heavy, I would use the 300 series. <laughs> All peanut. It's just peanut, peanut, peanut. It's just cars going by, baby. And on the the heavy series, I would go with the 400 series. Okay, the 400 series. Oh, this doggy. The 400 series is actually a very beefy reel, as you can see here. Compare that with the um, 300. But you know, the 300 is already a strong reel to begin with. This one here is all 20 braid. This one here, I have all 40. Whatever you want to do, but that's what I'm using. Alrighty, so this is my recommendation for travel rods. Now, th these rods are quality products made by Okuma Fishing. Uh, you can get them anywhere online. You can go Okuma uh, Direct. You can go to almost any other um, company that sells uh, fishing gear from Bass Pro to um, Tackle Direct, Fish USA, and even eBay has it. Okay, so this is my message on what to take on the plane when you're going on trips. Like me, I need to get off this rock. I need to go jump to another rock, maybe Maui or maybe go back to Maine, somewhere else where I can start using this equipment and, and try to fish for different fish. Alrighty, so I appreciate everybody's um, subscribing to my channel, Scuba Chris Videos. Peanut here appreciates it, and uh, thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. And that's a cut, huh, boy?